Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Atelier de Monaco Admiral Chronograph Flyback Saphir. And I'd like to remind you we're here at J.B. Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota taking a look at this watch. They are an authorized retailer of Atelier de Monaco and also many other luxury brands. So definitely check them out. So now let's dive right into this watch. So, as I said, this is the Atelier de Monaco Admiral Chronograph Flyback Saphir. And the saphir obviously means that it has a sapphire dial, which gives it this skeletonized appearance of the movement. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can just see the effort that they put into finishing that movement, especially on the front of the movement. Uh, the back is equally well finished. Um, but again, that front is just beautiful. And this watch definitely will get attention. Now, Atelier de Monaco is a brand that many of you probably haven't heard of. Uh, they were actually founded by the uh, lead watchmaker of Frederic Constant. They're still owned by Frederic Constant. Um, and they were founded only in 2008, so that's probably why many of you haven't heard of them. They're a very recent brand. At least I hadn't heard of them uh, until I came into J.B. Hudson and saw that they are now selling their watches. But the premise of the whole brand is, is inspired by Monaco, just kind of the luxury feeling of Monaco. And uh, basically from reading the material that they provide with their watches, they chose Monaco because there's a lot of fancy stuff there. Uh, to put it in simple terms, that is the truth. Uh, which is pretty common among <laughs> all watch brands. They sort of grab inspiration from places that don't actually relate to watchmaking, but that's kind of funny. Um, so anyways, the finishing as you see is absolutely beautiful in this watch. Uh, it's got a 42 millimeter case, which is appropriate. I mean, it's a chronograph. It probably wears a little bit big, bigger than that, uh, just because of the two subdial format, it makes it look a little bit bigger. Uh, but it is very comfortable on the wrist. I'll demonstrate that in a wrist shot shortly. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I will. This is a flyback chronograph, so I'll demonstrate that function here. Push the top pusher. Chronograph starts. Now, as you can see, it's moving slowly around the dial. Now I'll reset the flyback. Or I'll push the bottom pusher and it'll fly back and continue the chronograph function. Um, so now I can stop it and do a full reset so it'll stop working and it resets perfectly back to zero as we like. One thing I actually just did for future reference, uh, if you guys own flyback chronographs or are thinking about purchasing one, whenever you're using the pushers, make sure to push them down all the way when you do so. I had a Breguet Type 20 um, that would not... I didn't own it, um, it was just in the store, but it would not reset to zero, uh, and I realized, uh, actually this one was kind of acting up a little bit uh, a few minutes ago, but it's just because you have, if you don't push it down all the way and rather quickly release it, uh, it doesn't reset perfectly. And that's definitely a user error, I've seen that with many flyback chronographs, again the Breguet Type 20 was doing that a few weeks ago, um, and yeah, so that's something to keep in mind if you own a flyback. So with Atelier de Monaco, they make many other very complicated watches. Uh, they have one with a minute repeater and a tourbillon, and this one is actually an Oculus with just a tourbillon. Uh, I'll leave my review of this watch in the description. So uh, now let's move on to a wrist shot of this watch. So as I said, it's a 42 millimeter watch, which makes it rather comfortable, and it looks good on pretty much anyone's wrist. Uh, it would look good, sorry. So, if I didn't already mention this, the price is about $25,000, and for the level of finishing that you're getting with this piece, that is actually completely justified. Uh, it looks great, and it is solid rose gold, so that looks fantastic uh, as well, and it feels very high quality. I'd say that this is actually much more reasonably priced than the Tourbillon. This is $61,000, and it has a titanium case, whereas this has rose gold and a flyback chronograph. I know a Tourbillon is a much uh, sort of bigger deal in the watch world, uh, but I would say that this actually presents better value for money, even though it's $25,000. So again, it's very comfortable. Uh, I'll give you a look at the back. I think I kind of rushed through that a little bit earlier. So that is the Royal Seal of Monaco. It looks very nice. You have gold and silver colored finishing. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. Thank you.